Praise the Lord. The sister by my side is Ezia La Joy Ijoma. She had double miracle. She was healed of a pelvic fracture of five years and arthritis of the knee. Let's hear from her. Children of God around the globe, praise the living God. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Ezra Lajoy Ijoma from Chief Benson District, Rumola Group, Portacot Region, River State of Nigeria. I'm here to testify of the goodness of God in my life. Through this, uh, throughout this period of the global crusade. It was in the year 2016, December to be precise, I boarded a motorcycle from the street where I was living then into the, uh, to the express so to get vehicle to go to where I was to go to. The Okada rider came out on the highway without looking at his left hand side unknowing to him that a Siena driver was on high speed. So the, the, the Siena driver brushed us. As he left the position where we were, we now fell on the, on, the, on the highway. I used my hand, I used my hip to hit on the tire road, and my hand, before my head landed on the tire road, I, used, I quickly used my hand as a pillow, and the wristwatch I put on my wrist got broken. I thank God my head did not land on the tire road. From there, I discovered I could not get up. I wanted to get up. I discovered something was like holding me down from my waist down. They came and helped me. I get up from there, not knowing that I've incurred a pelvic fracture. I was rushed to the hospital. An x-ray was conducted and they discovered that my pelvic was fractured. I was admitted for some days, and then later, after some medications, I was discharged. Yet, I was still feeling the pains. I met a friend of mine that told me that the wife had the same incident, and uh, they, that in, in, in the country here, they don't have facility to take care of that, amen, that the, the wife will be taken to India. I said, ah, so is, is that how I will continue like this? Brethren, if I, fight, if I want to sit down, I don't sit down freely. I will have pains before I could sit down. And if I'm to get up, I will just be turn, twisting my body before I will manage to get up. If I'm sitting on a flat surface, on a, on a, on a flat surface, it will be as if I'm sitting on two sharp stones. So I will look for something like a pillow to put before I sit. So I've been living with that problem for the past five years. It was at the global a solution, a glo a divine solution crusade at Abuja, where God used the servant of God to touch my life. Brethren, praise the living God. So, yesterday, I decided to go back to the same hospital where I was admitted to that a doctor should check me again. Let me know because immediately after the solution, divine solution crusade, Deep down in my heart, the Spirit of God told me that he has healed me. The following day, I discovered I was not having that pain. I cannot sit on a sharp object, on, on, a, flat, on a sharp surface. I can do anything, and I will not feel that pain again. I went back yesterday for an x-ray. The x-ray was conducted, though it was in a soft copy. The doctor told me that the pelvic bone is now healed. Praise the living God! Then, on the third day of this divine uh, showers of blessing crusade, I was sitting right at the front here, the fifth, sixth row. On the first day, when the man of God prays, I would put my hand on my chest, knowing fully well that I have numerous needs that I want God to attend to. So, but on that faithful day, the two, the three of that crusade, of this same crusade, showers of blessing crusade, the Spirit of God told me I should not put my hand on my chest. I should put my hand right down on my knee. That the servant of God said, obey every instruction that you are giving. I removed my hand. I quickly removed my hand from my chest. 
raise my one hand up and put my one hand on my knee where I have a severe arthritis because I discover I cannot twist my leg. I cannot bend down and squat freely and stand up freely. But immediately, the man of God finished praying. He said, you cannot check yourself. Our state overseer mounted the pulpit and said, you can demonstrate to uh, those things you were not doing before. Check if you can do them now. My brethren, I just obeyed. I did my leg like this. Before I know it, it's as if there was, they, they used key. Brethren, <laughs> it was a miracle. As if they used key on my two knees and unlock whatever was really the problem on, that, on this leg. The legs started making noise together. But just, it was just making noise. I said, God, I thank you for how you have healed me. I am here to give God the glory that he alone deserves. Baba, thank you, sir. God bless you. Is that how you clap your hands? Clap your hands for Jesus. This ought to have taken her to India, and there is no guarantee that the problem will be solved. But God solved it. Five years, pelvic fracture gone, arthritis gone. Now she is free. We we'll listen to the last now. Please be very brief. Why the choir will come up? Potakot Choir. Praise to the Lord. The girl there is Eunice Martins. She was healed in this showers of blessing crusade of pectic ulcer disease of three years. Let's hear from. Children of God, praise the Lord. Our God is faithful. This, my daughter here, has been suffering for ulcer since three years. When the ulcer comes, she will be feeling weak and slumbing. Sometimes she has also slumped, and we have been taking her to medical treatment. They will run tests. Even this year, we have taken her three months ago for tests, and uh, all to no avail. After all the treatment, the stomach will continue. But as we came to this crusade, on the second day, I was in my unit. So I was touched to come and see them. As I came, she was weeping. And I asked her what happened. She said her stomach is paining her, that she feels like slumbing. Usually when she says it, I will just pray for her. But this one, I heard on to the word of God in 2 Chronicles 20:20 20, 20, that said, Believe God for your establishment and your, his uh, prophet for your prosperity. And I said, the man of God is here. That's what I told her. I said, by the time Jesus pray finish, this sickness will no more be here. She said, Amen. And I heard her and sat her down. And I, we sat down there and there, as the message was going on. When Jesus finished preaching, he said that we should lay hands where we have our problem. Me, I was praying because I have many problems. I was not even mentioning her case. I was only telling God, I said, every pit which the enemy have dig in my family, which is using to swallow my, my resources, let God close it. So after the prayer, she now told me, say, Mommy, I'm healed, though. I said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I didn't come for the testimony. I went home. I said, I have to confirm it. Then yesterday, they came for Riaza. In the morning, they left her very early. She did not eat. Normally, when we go for medical uh, checkup, they will tell us that she should always eat. So yesterday, she came out for that Riaza. I said, Elias. She did not eat, and she was hungry till 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and there was no pain. And the, today, she has been strong. I said, this almighty God, who healed her, may his name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. She is healed, you are healed. Potakot Choir, please. Mm -hmm. 